my friends, my family, my followers. It's Hike360 here. We are at the trailhead to the Florida National Scenic Trail. We are right here. If you follow my finger, the Florida National Scenic Trail goes all through the panhandle, all the way in two routes, two routes into Florida and down ending in the Everglades. Big Cypress. Big Cypress. A little before the Everglades. So we're here to do the first little section. Yeah, hey, we're doing the Florida Trail today. <laughs> I'm all excited. Ryan, you excited? I am excited. All right, let's get a great beginning. We'll have to take some photos too, so we're gonna turn off for a second, but uh, here we are. This is the northernest, the northern terminus of the Florida Trail. We're gonna try to do the um, entirety of the trail that is within the Gulf Shores National Park. Um, and so that's only about seven miles. And we'll see what happens. We'll pick it up farther down the state uh, in a couple of days. And you've already done some. And I've already done some. And where were you when you were doing some? I did, I, I touched down on the Florida Trail when I was in Ocala National Forest. Um, I, there's a part where the Yearling Trail intersects with the Florida Trail. You take the Florida Trail for a little bit. All right, Pretty let's cool. do it. Let's knock it out. All right, we got some herons across the way. The Florida Trail is messy with wildlife. I mean, there's just so many animals. So we already saw an armadillo at the fort. Yes. These guys are just hanging out up here. Wanted to turn on while we still had trees because these are going to disappear and it is going to be white sand beach for at least 10 plus miles. We're not doing all that in, one, in this go, but uh, this is the shade <laughs> for this segment. It's going to disappear. There's a lot more herons over there. Really? Yeah, like two more. We still have connectivity on the trail. Oops, sorry. Uh, we haven't gone even a mile, but we're still on the Fort Pickens land. And so this is one of the batteries. We're still in trees. I mean, this is this hike, I mean, because I know we're hitting the beach very shortly. It, it, it's a big change. There's a lot of changes. Yeah, there's, there's a lot to see. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're jumping from of a swampy, deserty vibe to historical vibes to ocean vibes. Yeah. All within the first half mile. Yeah. Or mile. Yeah. First mile. With a campsite somewhere in there. Whoever was mapping the Florida Trail prototype was probably like, oh yeah, let's put it here. Let's just blow their minds as soon as we can battery work and this first campsite is I, I think so ideally located you know it's it's a great place to start right you you're gonna get dropped off or somebody's gonna take you here camp the night get a fresh start in the morning you'll yeah. have to backtrack a little bit unless the guy who's dropping you off takes you to the fort and you go but out of the 1300 miles if you have to backtrack a mile that's not a big deal. Yeah, right. And it can be a light pack because you can leave your heavy packs and camp here. And we're coming up to, looks like the campsite. Yes. We're at campsite B5. Yes, which is a tenting uh, site, a non-RV site. So they have non-RV sites. <laughs> 